Okay, I'm going to start a new show. It's called Temple OS 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough. And uh, I'm your host, Terry Davis. And uh, here's the deal. Uh, there are 130,000 lines of code. And uh, that includes both the demos, applications, and the main operating system. What we're going to do is use a... Uh, a random uh, number generator to pick one of the 30,000 and uh, this is the same generator that's from God that, that causes God to talk so in other words God's gonna pick a random spot and we're gonna talk about it so here I do here I go Alt B this was this was for finding bad code um, using God to find it anyway so here we go Alt B where are we we are in the compiler uh, back end uh, floating point oh boy this is this is some nasty code okay so uh, if we let's see where we are um, intermediate code floating point intermediate code floating point compare and branch Okay, so uh, let's. I'm just gonna let's just start with whatever routine. So uh, what this routine does is it uh, it's called in the last um, passes, and it converts um, an inner. Uh, uh, so if we say O oh, trick, let's say we. Uh, Let's see if we can generate that. A compare and branch. Um, if f less than or equal to uh, so we just want to uh, execute Okay, so we do trace O trace O trace on and um, branch greater. Okay, so this is doing a floating. Let's see if we uh, this is floating point. Um, the reason I know that we just hit that code is because. Uh, on the last compiler pass, it does zero, one, two. Anyway, on seven, eight, and nine, um, I C F compare. So, in order to call that code, we have to have a floating point branch greater or equal. Um, that'll call the floating point or the other one. So uh, what this routine does is uh, it converts um, this branch greater or equal to machine code. Okay, so um, this takes uh, um, an argument. How many arguments does it take? We have... Uh, Uh, I think we have one argument. No, we have two arguments. Greater or equal. Okay, branch greater. There's two arguments, left and right side. There's a comparison operator. Okay, so what are the two arguments in this case? Oh, in this case, it's comparing to 1. 3FF is the uh, binary representation of 1.0. So we're comparing 1.0 to uh, a value off the base pointer. This is a variable. Now it couldn't use a register variable. Um, that's because uh, with floating point operations you, you can't use uh, CPU registers. Um, so this uh, loads, F load, uh, oh we're running out of time. Okay so F load uh, 
compare this is the floating point stack and then it frees it and then it jumps based on the uh, um, we got this compare IP set the CPU flags okay so long story short uh, there's a uh, uh what this routine does is uh if if there's a if the last operation was a float then um we try and use the floating point stack to uh like if you said compare to uh one plus i it would try and use the uh floating point stack as a as a uh register variable if okay so let's look at where it codes the instructions so uh, here's where it codes the loop. Um, if you have a three-part conditional, that's where we get this. Um, I'm going too fast. I don't have enough time. Push compare. So uh, oh, here here's where it's uh, explaining what instruction. So these are the this is the machine code, and uh, it it checks to see if it can do a short jump or a long jump. Um, when we're compiling and making machine code it does seven eight and nine it does it does three or more passes and and the secret is each pass it can only get more condensed otherwise uh and then the last pass it things are not supposed to shift around so what this is doing is checking um it's checking right here right uh right here if it can use a short jump and if it can use a short jump then it uh it codes a short jump and um if something changes then we uh let's see for relative uh some code you don't you can skip on the last three passes you just go once but this code it has to uh set the uh i think we set the uh not finished flag where is that uh, um, for RIP relative um, you always have to redo the instruction um, I think we want the final flag where is it setting the final flag uh, oh well anyway uh, let's for RIP relative, you have to uh, you have to redo it each time. So there's where the uh, compare the branch is. Then this is where the floating point stuff goes. Is is uh, oh well, and uh, it has to handle uh, it has to handle a situation like uh, 0 .0 zero point zero five less than it has to handle a situation like that my special three-part conditionals and uh, that's where this uh, push compare what it, what it does is uh, it's two operations it's uh, 0 0.5 less than F and and F less or equal to 1.0 so it's two operations is how it codes it and what it does is it is it it always pushes the uh, the shared middle term it pushes it and so uh, that's where this push compare um, anyway it does uh, short circuit logic um, anyway uh, so what are we what are we doing uh, so somewhere in here one of the, one of the things we pass into this routine is the uh, unsigned this is unsigned uh, and this is the opposite so if you have this is kind of an interesting uh, point you have um, what's the opposite of less than or um, I th do we want the opposite there's if you have left and right you change like that the opposite is uh, is uh, um, greater equal well let's see okay so um, 
on the last pass I'm running way over time so we want uh, F compare so uh, it's passing in on this greater or equal 73830F or 7686 so uh, what that is is uh, 73 or 86 if we go to the opcodes 73 jump above or equal the other one was 86 or 7 I don't remember 76 below or equal um, anyway so above or equal I think it's the uh, uh, oh well so uh, how about that 